Welcome to Zombieland. Back for seconds? After all this time? Well, what can I say, but thank you. You have a lot of choices when it comes to zombie entertainment, and we appreciate you picking us. So, you know how Eskimos have a bunch of words for snow? Aput? Pixerpak? Kemuksuk? Well, the only reason we've survived the last several years is that we've gotten to know our bloodthirsty enemies better than we know ourselves. In the time since we last saw you, Zombies have evolved, so we've given them different names. This lady here is getting chased by the dumbest Z there is, what we call a Homer. In a world without YouTube, who wasn't entertained by a Homer? Unfortunately, for every Homer, there's a Hawking, as in Steven. Or maybe his slightly less accomplished sister, Beatrix, who's still got some brains left to figure shit out. Clever girl. Okay, last one. Whoa, 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 what was that? Okay, all right, well this time, let's play Name That Zombie. Hello? Hello? The ninja, silent, deadly. The first thing you hear is your own scream. You can imagine how thrilled we were to crack the zombie code. But life is about more than just survival. Ever since we were evicted from our normal lives, I'd been searching for a place to put down roots. My old pal Tallahassee has this saying, go big or go home. I mean, it's not his signature phrase, but it did give me an idea. Why not go big and go home? to the motherfucking chief. There are worse places to hang your hat. <laughs> Casablanca. Wait, why does he get to be president? Well, I think I would have made a damn fine president, kissed a few hands, shook a few babies. You would have brought a real dignity to the office. Thank you. You don't have what it takes. I'll be president. <laughs> and I nominate Little Rock as my VP. So that means I get to be president 
if you get killed by zombies. That wasn't what I was thinking when I offered you the position, but technically, yes. I have this rule, enjoy the little things, which is what we spent a lot of time doing in those early days at the White House. And it was a really special time, making a house our home. <laughs> Wichita and I had fallen into our own version of domestic bliss. Well, not quite bliss, but domesticity, to be sure. Did Abe's blindfold fall off again? No, it did not fall off. I took it off. It's so creepy. He just stares at us all night. That stare emancipated the slaves, okay? And it ended the Civil War. We should be, we should be grateful he's gawking at Do us. Do you remember what happened the last time you took the blindfold off? You made me sleep on the Lincoln couch? Mm-hmm. you so much, baby. You are so gorgeous. Yeah, we really need to find you someone. That's where you're wrong. Any romance left in me belongs to the beast here. Okay, well, then we need to find someone for me. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem, as long as you're open to dating zombies. So you're saying what? I'm never gonna find a boyfriend or get married, have a family? Where are your family? So one out of three ain't bad. Little Rock had a strong desire to leave the nest. And let's just say, Tallahassee wasn't the most understanding father figure. Little Rock! But for better or worse, we were a family. And for the first time since the virus, we were living somewhere truly safe, making every day feel like, well, like Christmas morning. Hello! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Hey, Tal. Santa. What would you like for Christmas, little girl? A pony? No, I'd actually really like you to stop calling me little girl. Well, technically, you are little and you're a girl. Well, uh, I am not a little girl, Santa, but do you know what I would like? I don't give a fuck what you'd like. Not to sound too sentimental, but those days at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue may have been the best days of my life. And that's counting pre-Z. Wait a second. Oh my god, no a first edition Tolkien, and, and you wrote in it. There's my name right there, marring this perfectly preserved paper. Thank you, and yours too. You didn't stop. Thank you so much. It's a bit touching. Hey, you know, I couldn't find uh, any wrapping paper, but don't worry about it, just tear it open. It doesn't matter, it's only Taft. He was our fattest president, so there's actually quite a lot left over. If you need some wrapping paper, Columbus, I didn't get anything from you. Just what I wanted. Another gun. Oh, hey, well, not just any gun, a Colt 45, and not just any Colt 45, the kings. Uh, England, Denmark, Liechtenstein? There's only one king. Aaron, fucking, the greatest who ever lived, the king of kings. Uh, he yes. gave this gun to Nixon when he visited the White House, and I, uh, I give it to you, locked and loaded. Yeah, he used to shoot that colt in his backyard. King's Palace, Memphis, Tennessee. Did I tell you about Graceland? Only like a hundred times. Well, we're gonna go there together someday. You no, know, I actually think I'm gonna go shoot this right now. I think I uh, saw some Z's down by the reflecting pool. Well, I'll go with. I'm gonna go by myself. It's Christmas. It's not fucking Christmas. It's November 17th. Little Rock was on the hunt, all right, for people her own age. And the thing is, they were out there. We just made it a point to keep our distance which would kind of suck if you were the one stuck in the nest. 